The weekend wildfires in right here in North Dakota were scary, captured all of our attention while we watched what happened in that northwestern part of the state. You were working, Jacob. You I were kind of right in the thick of it. Collecting all the information, trying to tell people what we knew at that point, yes. but the person kind of on the ground we're going to be speaking with now. Yes. In the middle of all of it, trying to manage the situation was Carolyn Jappy, the McKenzie County Emergency Manager. Carolyn, you've had some time to catch your breath. You said you've maybe yeah. gotten a little bit of sleep. We're glad to hear that. We wanted to talk to you, Carolyn, about your experience from the weekend. Have you been through anything this crazy before? Back in Montana, I have, yes, because I served in a county that we had four national forests and we had a couple of different forest fires start 15 minutes of each other. And it was a couple month ordeal before they got the fires out. So I have, but it's been 25 years ago. You probably never forget that, though. You sent us some really compelling pictures and video. We want to talk about those while we have you. Let's start with the video of the dust storm. You took this from inside your vehicle. Talk about zero yeah. visibility. There was a lot of that out there. That was the Keen fire. That was the third fire I was on Saturday. Oh, my word. And you just couldn't get through. You literally had to back out and find a different way around because it was the wind was so so strong and how did you manage it all being kind of torn in a bunch of different directions with all the fires starting sometimes simultaneously i think somebody was watching over me because we started at arnegard about 2 30 in the morning from arnegard i went over to the haystack butte to feed the guys from uh west on fire grassy butte fire in the forest service and from there i went out to keen um and it just it really broke my heart because you, you go out to keen you just saw the dust when I got out there, I have never seen black firefighters' faces. I mean, it, they were just charcoal. And their poor eyes, I mean, because they were fighting it in the dust and you saw the wind there. Um, it was really hard. I mean, that's why I instantly, when a couple of people started calling and ask, asking what I needed, I said, I really need some, some eye drops, baby wipes, that kind of thing for these people because they were, they've done a, a lot. But they're, they're dedicated people, I will tell you that. They weren't going to stop fighting the fire just because nope. their, their faces were dirty, right? Not at all. And people so. helping all over yeah. in your county. And our next picture was of the county road department truck hauling water um, to help out with fighting these fires. So kind of talk about that a little bit. So um, our road superintendent had 14 guys out on Saturday, which at the end of the day or night or morning, um, there was 183 hours worked by our road crew. So they were going full steam ahead too. And um, in all parts of the county, because there were fires, even though there were big fires, there were little fires breaking out all over as well. We have just kind of put together a little collection of some of your pictures that you took. I'm sure you're just taking these pictures thinking, I've never seen anything like this again. I hope I never see anything like this again. They're, they're pretty, I would say, take your breath away pictures. Do you wanna tell us about some of these? So when the wind is going so fast, it can carry a fire faster than water going downhill. I mean, it's that fast. So. Um, initial attack is so important and I'll tell you the fire departments that we have in this county and the surrounding counties that came to our aid was a, was remarkable. Um, in McKenzie County alone we have 11 volunteer fire departments and two of those departments are out of Montana. Um, Williston Rural protects a, a part of McKenzie County, Newtown protects a part of McKenzie County and then all the different ones you know Watford City, Keene, Twin Valley, Alexander, Arnegard, Grassy Butte, um, everybody came together. It was, it's, but they do that all the time. It's amazing. It's like a big, it's a tight knit community, which I know every community probably has the same kind of community, but it's just, you just want to make sure everybody's safe. Everybody has what they need. And, and the community came together. Um, even the American Legion helped out getting supplies for us. So it's all been a good thing. One of the coolest things that I heard was when I was talking to one of the people affected by the fire, I said, what can we, we're really far away, what can we do to help you guys? And she immediately said, our firefighters need food and water and those baby wipes to clean their faces. I just think that is a testament to the kind of people that live in this state and, and why we're so happy to live here, right? Oh, absolutely, very much so. You know, another thing that happened is um, I sent out four different emergency alerts throughout the time and 
Johnson's Corner Christian Academy, bless their heart, they opened a shelter for me right then and there. Um, so one of our road guys, bless his heart, he brought the shelter trailer out. We got everybody set up and they literally took care of that shelter all night long for me. They were just a blessing. North Dakota Nice in action. Carolyn, thanks for joining us. I'm glad you can get some sleep. Hopefully things stay calm down so you can take a little break. We really appreciate you making time for us on First News at 4. Thank you. Stay with us. We'll be right back.